Hi folks, this is all the fruit, and here I have the fruit of the baobab, arguably the most iconic tree of sub-Saharan Africa. Well, Aranzonia digitata is a baobab species which is quite widespread throughout sub-Saharan Africa. And yeah, why is it so iconic and so important? Well, I think when you, one of the pictures you have in mind when you think about Africa are those giant, sometimes 10 meter thick trees. Yeah, that's the baobab tree. It's a really yeah, iconic, I cannot say it often enough, an iconic part of the African countryside. But it's also incredibly important, culturally, medicinally, for foodstuff, for construction, for animals. Like in Africa, a lot of villages have a village center which revolves around such a tree. The people come together in the shade of a tree. There are lots of legends and laws and so on connected with baobab trees. It's also very important for animals, like the the elephants. They eat the they eat the soft wood which is rich in water. They also eat the fruit. A lot of animals eat the fruit. A lot of animals eat the leaves. A lot of animals live in the baobab. Also very important for people. A lot of public toilets and public prisons have been made in giant holes in the stem. The sun of Southwest Africa, they use every part of the tree. They use the wood to get water. They use the leaves and the, and the fruits and the flowers and the young twigs and the seedlings for food. Yeah, a lot of Africans use this tree for food. The fruit is the most important part in this case. You can also use the, the timber for different things except for getting water, but it's not a very popular timber. The leaves are being used as a vegetable. Countless medicinal uses for it. Let me check. I have a couple of stuff on my other phone. But basically you could Google them. Yeah, there is... There are countless, countless, countless uses for the, for the trees, for the tree, yeah, I'm not going to read you all the different uses. Well, a couple years ago, baobab became also famous as a superfood, but then fortunately, the hype kind of subsided a little bit, because a lot of people, for example, if you want to know a lot about the problematics, um, watch the videos of the Weird Explorer on baobab fruit. A lot of people actually warned that using this fruit in large quantities is not good for the African countryside. We also have the problem that it's overused by humans in many parts of Africa and overused by the elephant populations which are concentrated in the national parks. Now for the big demand in western countries, the native baobab um, groves are not enough, so people simply bulldoze giant areas of um, native dry forests and other natural habitats and plant giant baobab plantations which are not made to uh, to sustain local wildlife or local cultures or local people they are made to make very few people rich so I picked those things myself so I think I'm entitled to eating them if you see them some baobab extracts in a supermarket better leave them alone they are rich in vitamin c and in other important stuff but better use other vitamin c sources and not the baobab so why did i pick why did i climb on this stream in the city street of santa cruz where in the same city i could have gotten first quality baobab fruit from the botanic garden of the palmetum well, because I talked to the boss of the Palmetum today, to Signor Carlo Morici, and he said, actually, his tree has fruits which are too dry and tasteless. Well, the tree in the city center of Santa Cruz has much tastier fruit. So I told him, okay, I'm climbing this tree. He didn't believe me. Well, now he can believe me. I climbed the tree, I picked five fruit. Hmm. To be honest, They are not so much better than the ones in the palmetum. You see, in this tree in the city center of Santa Cruz, in the Calle de Pilar, comes from 
Senegal, the one yes in the palmetum comes from Gambia, which is a country surrounded on three sides by Senegal. But he said that the tree in the city center is much changed, yeah. Hmm. Don't know folks, could be a bit tastier, yeah? a bit better, but so much better. Hmm. I don't know. You can eat them. Three out of hand, the fruit out of hand. The dried flesh has a nice sour flavor. Quite nutritious. Very rich in vitamin C, potassium, and a lot of other things. African people also like to mix it with milk or mix it into porridges and stuff. A very important um, a very useful tree as long as you don't destroy giant ecosystems to cultivate it for profit. Here are the seeds. The seeds can also be used to extract an oil, but I think the residue is still the residue of the seeds is still very protein rich. So even the seeds are quite valuable. But yeah the important part is this white flesh. And to be honest, the flesh from this tree is not so much better than the one from the other. I don't know. Mm. Maybe those fruits are too old. Let's use a slightly younger fruit. Okay, well, it's not opening yet. Okay, now it's opening. This fruit is slightly younger. Look at the color of the fibers. They are not so red. Even the flesh looks more fresh. Well, let's try it. Mm. Good, but less sour. Mm. Well, good, a bit more flesh, mm. a bit more fresh, bigger seeds but less sour. This is the most unripe fruit I got. See, oh, this is still juicy. This is still not dry. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Good that I took an unripe fruit. I thought it would taste disgusting, but no. It's just a bit juicy with even bigger seeds. Hmm. Still not as sour as the old dry fruits, but good. Now I know that even the not completely ripe fruits can be used for food. Hmm. Definitely a milder taste. Let's compare it to the most ripe one I tried. In the beginning, mm -hmm. not so much milder, but definitely milder. Good loot I got here. Good fruit. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally like them. I cannot say if they are so much better than the other ones from the Santa Cruz Palmetum, but they are not bad. Totally approve of them. So, folks, this was the barbab, trying a supposedly more tasty tree than the last one. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful city of Santa Cruz and from the beautiful island of Tenerife. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.